Hey everyone, Elisa here at Foam. I'm a senior account manager. I'm gonna be going through this month's holiday and events calendar for January 2021. Really excited about this. Happy New Year to you all. As you can see, I'm getting really festive here. Before we do get started, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. If you click in the description box below, you'll be able to subscribe to the email that gets sent out on a monthly basis with this calendar. So that way you never run out of ideas for campaigns for your own businesses or if you're an email marketer for the businesses and clients that you work with. Just as a reminder of how this works, you have the calendar here at the front or at the top. And then at the bottom, you have the color coding legend, the theme of the month, monthly events if there are any taking place obviously we're still in the hype of COVID-19 so nothing is quite going on just yet and then some useful facts about the month that we are discussing okay and without further ado let's get started as you can see we have tons and tons and tons of really fun holidays and events going on this month. I tried to make it a little more exciting, obviously, because January tends to be a little bit slower in the e-commerce world. With that being said, most of your subscribers and customers are probably pretty shocked out. So what we want to do is we just want to engage and entertain them as much as possible. So January 1st is New Year's Day, obviously, and it's also known as National Hangover Day. Depending on your brand and depending on what you guys stand for and what you promote, this is kind of like a funny day to send out an email, just making sure that people are either nursing their hangovers or doing something about their hangovers, that kind of a thing. January 2nd, you have Science Fiction Day. I'm personally not into science fiction at all, but if you have a brand that has a lot to do with the science fiction world, definitely a good day to send out a campaign around this. January 3rd, Mind Body Wellness Day. Again, another great day to kind of talk about with your subscribers, what they're doing to achieve their health goals for the year of 2021. January 4th, I had to include this because I love spaghetti so much. I'm actually craving it so badly right now, but it's National Spaghetti Day. So another fun and kind of just hilarious holiday to get included in a campaign if it makes sense for your brand. Just to kind of run through all the other ones really quickly, January 11th, clean your desk day. I will definitely be taking advantage of that holiday. And then you also have hot toddy day and milk day. Do you guys ever remember those commercials where it was like, got milk? What happened to that? I feel like soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk, cashew milk, they all took over the market and now nobody cares about cow's milk. I miss those days. Anyways, January 13th, sticker day, gluten-free day, January 14th. This one we actually talked about internally because we were cracking up. Dress up your pet day and also hot pastrami sandwich day. I personally don't like pastrami sandwiches, but if that fits your brand, send out a campaign about it because that's kind of funny. And then January 15th, you have bagel day, hat day. January 17th, ditch New Year's resolutions day. Don't know how awesome this is or how, how encouraging it is, but it's still pretty funny. Obviously, January 18th, you have a federal holiday here in the States, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, you also have Winnie the Pooh Day, uh, Winnie the Pooh Day on the same day. I love Pooh Bear so, so much. And then also Blue Monday. Uh, so Blue Monday is known as the most depressing day of the year. Um, I hope that this is not the case for all of you watching and listening because that is really miserable. Okay, January 19th, you have Popcorn Day. January 20th, this is actually perfect. It's my husband's birthday. It's Cheese Lover Day, and I've never met anyone who loves cheese more than him. Our fridge is like stocked with every kind of cheese you can think of, so I'm sure we will be partaking in this holiday on his birthday. You also have Penguin Day. I don't know if you listen to our Email Einstein podcast, uh, but Vera and I have this really weird obsession with asking all of our uh, guests if they prefer baby penguins to like another baby version of an animal. And anyone who doesn't answer penguin, we're kind of like, really? <laughs> so we love penguins. So we got to get that on the calendar. It's National Penguin Day. January 21st is Hugging Day and also Get to Know Your Customers Day. This is a huge one for us as email marketers. Um, it's a really good opportunity to fully engage with your customers and ask them to contact you back. So 
I know I'm personally using this day with my clients as a day to find out from customers what new products, what new things they're wanting the brand to do. So really good opportunity to reach out to your customers and honestly get to know them. January 22nd, this is another one that had us all literally rolling on the floor laughing. Answer your cat's questions day. So Definitely one to take advantage of if you are within like the pet industry. And then for the rest of the month, you have January, January 24th, compliment day, peanut butter day, January 25th, opposite day, January 26th, Australia day and spouses day, January 27th, chocolate cake day, yum, January 28th, kazoo day so random lego day and fun at work day so we'll definitely be harassing our boss to see if he can make our day at work any more fun than it already is january 29th you have puzzle day january 30th you have croissant day i love me a good croissant and then january 31st you have backward day and also hot chocolate day i am actually extremely pregnant i don't really show my belly on youtube but i've had the weirdest consistent craving for hot chocolate. So January 31st, I will definitely be partaking in hot chocolate day. Guys, I really hope this calendar helps for you. Make sure again that you click on the link in the description box below. So then that way you can get access to these calendars directly into your inbox on a monthly basis. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel. There is so much good quality content that we put out on a weekly basis that just gives you more insight into how how to become an even better email marketer than what you already are. Thank you guys so much. Happy New Year. Wishing you all the best in 2021 and we'll see you next time.